Uh, Mike, it just seems like there's not an out in that Yankee lineup. They just keep coming at you, especially this weekend, after you batter, after batter, after batter. Yeah, there's no let up, and they are working on all cylinders right now. Uh, Sanchez with his home run today, that makes six Yankees with 10 or more home runs. I mean, they're a pretty impressive group. It starts at the top with Gardner, the veteran Gardner's at a resurgence. He's got 13 home runs, and of course, him getting on base there in the first inning really started to set the tone. A big five run first, and the Orioles had problems uh, first and second inning of ball games. It'd be nice to see their offense put a crooked number up early, take a little pressure off the starter. Mike, you know, Kevin Gosman today, another struggle for him to get through that Yankee lineup. Last year, a 1.1 ERA. This year, I don't know what it's going to be by the end of this game, almost a seven. But what did you see today also? Yeah, you know, you mentioned him uh, having a problem working down and away, and he's had a problem really glove side all year long. And I think today he was just trying to back some Yankees off the plate. Unfortunately, the secondary pitch is a little bit inconsistent for Gosman, and you have to be on your game for sure and work all the quadrants against this Yankees lineup. Got to work the top of the zone, outside corner, inside. You got to just get him to move their feet, make them feel uncomfortable, and uh, just wasn't there. And it started slow for Kevin Gosman. I thought he was going to settle in a little bit. Made some pretty good pitches uh, to get out of some jams with some double play balls, but another early exit, just not enough in the tank to keep this Yankee offense quiet. Well, Mike, as always, we appreciate your comments. Look forward to chatting with you in the not-too-distant future. Mike Bordick there at Yankee Stadium in New York after the Orioles went up losing by a score of 14-3. to three. Now you're